Hello YouTubers, this is my first video. Um, basically I'm just showing off my knife collection here. Um, so we'll start off from the top and work the way to the bottom. First here, this is a Spyderco Mule in uh, CPM S30, S90V. Um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty thin knife. Um, as you can see, I'm still making the scales for it. It's a wood liner with my carter outside. I made this my carter out of some old shirts. Um, it's an ongoing project, and uh, I'll finish it one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. Most of these knives I will post a separate review. Here's just showing them to you. Okay, this is a uh, Ontario Pilot Survival knife. I just received this today, actually, in the mail. Um, I bought it from a forum member on the Blade Forums Exchange. It's a great little, great little knife. It's not that heavy. Um, pretty short. Pretty short blade. I like it. Um, I'll post a review on it. Okay. Next knife is my Scrapyard Son of Dogfather. Uh, I really, really love this knife. For 7 inch blade, this thing chops, chops like a beast. Um, yep, it's very nice. As you can see in hand, hand is a little bit small, um, but it's fine. Some people don't like this choil. I like it. it. Works well. My index finger pushes back against that and keeps the blade in nice and tight. It's got a thumb ramp here. I usually don't use it. Just go like that. I put on a convex edge on this, um, and it's a, it's a saber grind, and I put on a convex bevel. That's what I meant to say, and uh, this is a homemade sheath. This is my Brian Breedem, Breeden Custom Warthorn. Uh, my first sheath. Really bad stitching because I would drill it on this side with a hand drill. And this side would come out crooked. Uh, it works though. Whatever. Um, the tension is actually pretty good. I really like this knife. It is great. It's 01 tool steel. The slanted guard makes it perfect for anything. Um, you can choke up and go this way. Really fine work. You know, you can uh, this way for if you like holding it this way. Chest lever grip is absolutely perfect. And it's got a little um, bird's beak here, I guess you can call it, where you can use two fingers, three fingers, and it chops pretty well for a knife its size. Um, again, I'll post a separate view at a later date. This is my actually my first fixed blade. This is my only safe queen. Um, oh, looks like I accidentally cut off pieces of that sheath. <laughs> it's a uh, it's really sharp. Uh, this is a K bar. Not sure if you can see that, but it says uh, Olean, New York, and this one, this particular model, it's stainless steel, was made in Japan. Um, nowadays, they are made in Taiwan. Uh, but this one's still made in Japan. I like it. Great jimping. Um, extremely thin tip. Uh, probably pierces like a like nothing. Um, very comfortable handle. Some finger grooves. Nice sheath. This one goes into my drawer. This has got a lot of sentimental sentimental um, value. Becker BK9. As you can see, this is my uh, one of my woods blades. Um, it's actually not as used as my dog father, but the coating sucks. Um, comes off extremely easily. It's pretty sharp. I've whacked it accidentally into the uh, tree, uh, not tree, into a rock, like a boulder, a couple times, and it's still fine. Um, I did a test when. I took this and I took the breed and I decided just to smash them into the ground to see what would happen. Um, the breed had some more dulling, and this guy had a little bit less dulling, but it did have a chip. Um, but whatever, I can I can sharpen so sharpen them all out. Both knives very sharp now. 
Mora. Everybody's got a Mora. It's a good little knife. Not much to say. Put a little bit of patina on it. Um, it's pretty sharp. I modded the sheath with a heat gun so that it's got more of a snap to it. And this sheath is extremely uh, secure. It's, it's not coming out anytime soon. This is a dog father, scrapyard dog father. I made this sheath my first Kydex ever. I don't really like Kydex. Um, this B blade is a beast. Um, probably my best chopper. Actually, definitely my best chopper. I haven't gotten it out to use it much. Chopped down it, chopped it, chopped with it a little bit. Excuse me, and uh, that's about it. Very thick. Extremely thick. Last but definitely not least, my absolute favorite woods blade right now. Uh, my Furman First Strike. It's pretty sharp right now. Um, CPM 3V steel. This steel is, people say it'll give uh, Infi a run for its money. Um, extremely tough. Thick again, quarter inch thick great handle just your hand just goes into it perfectly I, I love this knife I can't say enough um, I don't care that's two hundred eighty dollars I'm gonna buy another one actually I bought this off of a forum member too uh, I always try to look on the blade forum exchange or knife forum exchange I like to help out fellow knife nuts great sheath I love this knife comes with me on every trip and uh, those are my knives um, I will post some more videos about folding knives. I don't have much. I don't like folding knives. They're just, uh, don't find a need, a use for them. Anything I would need to do with a folding knife, I can do with my Mora. You know, it's tougher than 99% of folding knives out there. Um, I can do whatever I want with this knife, anything, folding knife, uh, tasks with this, this guy right here. Um, the only thing I would say a folding knife is good for is, Sheeple, um, I guess I can bring it to work, a folding knife to work, cut open boxes and whatnot without getting fired. Um, that's about it. Yep, thank you very much. And uh, see, oh, one more thing. Um, this is my first video, I'd like to give some credit to where it's due. Um, first off, I'd like to shout out to Nothing Fancy. I know a lot of people poo poo his name and uh, on the forums and whatnot. I don't see why. I mean, this guy. He's got some great knives, he has great video reviews, um, tabletop reviews. And then after the tabletop, he'll go out and he'll whack on the knife in, uh, in the Rocky Mountains or wherever. Great videos, I love watching your videos. Um, yeah, that's that's about it for Nothing Fancy. Uh, another guy's Mistwalker on the Blade uh, on the Blade Forums. He actually, um, based on his reviews of this knife, I got it. He has some amazing reviews on breeding knives. Um, basically everybody on blade forums is extremely helpful um, it's a great place uh, yep next person sorry if I pronounced it wrong um, Giuliano uh, Toniolo and Colhane on YouTube um, um, they have a lot of videos about survival in Brazil and whatnot Giuliano has one of these again persuaded me to buy this knife I really love this knife so far, um, yeah, he has some great videos. There's so many YouTubers with great videos. I can't possibly uh, say them all. These are the guys that's come to mind. Um, basically, I was watching them earlier today or yesterday. Um, next guy, uh, Virtual Vice, is this this uh, this guy in Japan. Now, he has a thousand fixed blades. I wish I could have as many as he does, but money. Um, and uh, he goes out and he, he skins deer with them on camera. I mean, that's that's the least armchair warrior possible. Um, lastly, Nas. This guy's a very controversial guy. I'm running out of time. Um, basically, he buys a knife and he uh, see how, how long it takes to break it. Um, destructive testing. I love his tests. Um, if a knife passes his test, I know it'll pass anything. This knife only got... I think what is it two and a half swords or something and it passed so many tests um, yep uh, I, lo 